Now, Jason, what do you make of family in the simulacrum, connected or completely random? That's a good question. I will not invent an answer. I will say I can give you an, opi an educated opinion because I have thought about this. I find it very unusual that the world is so vast with so many different cultures and so many different people and all that, that a lot, I'm ta talking about some, I'm talking about a lot of the reincarnation cases that are studied and have been documented show that people are born in very close proximity to their prior avatars, many times in the same family. That was pretty shocking to me. Because it denotes that there is nothing random about our life and death sims and that we go through a lot of these things together. It's almost as if like we're a group and here we are in the same the same three or four families. We're all inter, intermarrying. We're in, in, it's just so bizarre. Study, study some of these books that are being put out by reincarnation and uh, 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 hip, hypnotic regression. These episodes, these things people are describing... You would think that would have been a life they'd pop out somewhere else, but they're not. It's almost as if somebody who, a grandfather who dies in one family, that family's intermarried with a local family. All of a sudden, he dies right at the right time to be reborn a few minutes later into a baby that's being born to a family that's known by that other family. Maybe even share some of its genetics. There's been instances where, where children remembered intimate details about a house and members of that family that no child could have ever known had they not lived under that roof. So, yes, I do believe. I cannot give you anything affirmatively. I cannot say, yes, it's in this text. I read this. Here's where the source materials are. I can't do that. All I can do is tell you that I have found some really really interesting associations in some of the books I've read about reincarnation showing that just maybe we are in this together with certain groups and that maybe we are related on the outside of the simulacrum. Because these are just avatars. But maybe we joined as a group and we're going through it. It's almost like uh, teams. You know, it, it's, uh, here from the inside of, the, of this holography, we translate that to family members and friends. But on the outside of the holography, we're all in the same chamber. Or we're all on the same team and we're all doing this right here. And everybody else around us in the immediate environment, our neighborhood are avatars. They are NPCs. It's a sim simulation theory involves so many other concepts. It's hard to grasp. Now, I don't get into a lot of those details in my on my channel. For good reason because i wanted to carve a niche i wanted archaics to be known that here's a guy that believes in simulation theory but he's not parroting elon musk he's not parroting all these other channels that talk about simulation theory i don't care about modern perspectives of it i wanted to be known as the guy that here's the guy that can show you in ancient history that simulation theory is plausible the only thing that accounts for Mandela effect in history and synchronicity and coincidence and deja vu and resets and all these cataclysm protocols that we see unfolding, all these anomalies from the ancient world can only be explained in, in, in simulation theory. The reason why we don't have a website that everybody in the world can go to that tells you the exact history decade by decade going back 6,000 years. The reason we don't have that is because no one's able to put it together because AIX has been very busy covering everything up. That's what I believe.